Welcome back to Real Life Matters. My name is D-Boss. I'm here with another guest, you know, and I, we just had a phenomenal show today. I just had another lady. She just was talking about ozone, um, Helena, and I got somebody else here, Dr. An Angelica Wagner, and she is actually a neuroscientist, PhD, DM. DMM. Well, she could tell all the rest of it. <laughs> but anyways, I, welcome to welcome to Real Life Matters. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's so wonderful to be here. And I have an alphabet behind my na name. Yes, she yes. does. <laughs> <laughs> a parama. A par what, parama? Uh, parama is uh, a type of very advanced um, uh, body talk. So um so how i became a doctor mm -hmm. we want to hear we want to hear the story everybody at home wants to hear it so <laughs> so i was and we were just talking about this uh with some friends is that i was 28 years a real estate agent but god had called me to be uh, a doctor uh when i was very young and uh at eight years old i uh, my mother was almost dying and so i brought her back to life in my own way and prayed for her and and thought that healing was all about spirituality. And so it was very interesting when I was 33 years old, I was in a wheelchair and was a wheelchair, a wheelchair and had a serious car accident. Mm -hmm. I was a single mom. My children were three, five, seven and nine. And I was selling real estate at the time. Oh, and those years ago, many years ago, um, you didn't sell real estate out of a wheelchair. Today, people can't. Yes. But in those days, they didn't. No, that wasn't that. And no, no. that was my first sort of um, entry into alternative health. And, uh, and so a chiropractor gave me back my legs. And I thought, okay, well, we're all good. Um, only God had different plans for me. So... Um, after I, uh, after I put all of my children through university, I went to California and I thought, oh, I'm just going to have a little bit of a break here. And that was not the plan because suddenly I slipped and fell and hit the back of my head very hard. What? And the next day picked up a big box to, I was looking for a, a book in that box and that, that box was about mm, 60, 70 pounds. And I felt my retina detach. And it was a Sunday and I'm calling everybody and saying, my retina detaching, my retina's detaching. And, and you know, I was told, well, oh, just look on the Body Talk site, just see what Body Talk has to offer. Two days later, I was in a class because there was no way that some surgeon was gonna go in there and, and mess around with yours with and mess your... around with my vision. Right. And so I did have laser surgery, mm -hmm. which pasted it back in and then changed my diet completely. Um, um, did this body talk initially course. And during the course, I cracked the codes on why emotionally this woman um, had contracted cancer. And everybody went, oh, you have to do this for work. And I went, who's going to pay for this? Wow. I mean, literally, that was my, who's going to pay for this? And as life progressed, so I went back 90 days later right. to the laser surgeon. And he said, this is very strange. And I, I said, I'm used to being told I'm strange. <laughs> So what did you say next? So what did I say next? <laughs> so he, so I said, why do you say that? And he said, because in all of my lifetime of doing these surgeries, no one has ever come back with not having scarring inside the eye. So first of all, you have 15 over 20 vision in an eye that was supposed to be blind. And secondly, you have no scarring in that eye. And then I was hooked. And I suddenly started to take, I took all of the body talk courses and then the advanced one, of course, was Parama. And after I kept saying, okay, body, when people would uh, come to my practice, okay, body, show me that this works because I was the biggest skeptic on energy medicine. Mm -hmm. And as a result of everything I kept learning and learning and learning and that, we, that was possible okay. with cracking the codes of disease, Mm -hmm. So that's what you do. I crack the codes of disease through. I use light. I use a light device, which is 40 hertz frequencies. I use a sound device on the exterior of the ears. I use uh, orthomolecular medicine and did a PhD in that. 
which is uh, the use of amino acids and nutrition for the brain and the body. Wow. To heal the brain and the body, not with pharma, but with, and I also use essential oils, which you can probably smell on me. Yes. <laughs> she just says all natural products. This is um, Dr. One. So you, you went from a, a pharma doctor to a holistic, or are you still in both? I was never a pharma doctor. Okay. Never. Okay. Because I grew up in a in a family right where pharma was absolutely verboten uh my mother didn't even have uh aspirin in the house okay if you had a headache you put an ice cube in whichever hand the headache was side the headache oh, was on I never knew so that. yeah so there are <laughs> we're almost taking a, a pill for that if you have a headache no, i never no, thought that, to put a, no, um, an ice cube no, no that would work so so anyway so i um in order to prove my in order to prove my findings and particularly my findings. So I learned how to heal the cranial nerves, which are the crane, which are the nerves, which go to the eyes, digestion and, uh, and other very vital organs. So I learned how to, I discovered how to heal the cranial nerves, but I thought there's gotta be something more than this. Okay. And my mentor, uh, Dr. Jay Holder, uh, uh, told me, he said, come and study with us for a year and you'll understand how big this thing is that you discovered because you're not getting it yet. So this was six years before the opioid crisis hit. Mm. And I went and studied with him and he has an addiction university. And I thought, what am I doing this for? Except <laughs> that, except that it was so interesting. Right. And I loved all the brain stuff. And I kept saying, well, I don't understand how can this be, how can this not be a permanent solution? So I'd say, okay, Jay, how do you solve meth? How do you solve cocaine? How do you solve heroin? How do you solve alcohol? Oh, go figure it out, he'd say to me. Wow. And then one day I was upside down on the yoga mat. Whew, the answers came right to me. When you're upside down on the yoga mat. Yep. <laughs> Well, that's a good, that's a good positioning to me. <laughs> well, because when you are upside down, you have blood flow to the head right? and you have more brain energy and more brain power. And all of a sudden it just in meditation, it came to me and I, um, I tried it. And then I took 95 people out of jail, out of Los Angeles prison who were in a sober living house. And I worked on them for nine months. And my only criteria okay. with working with me was that they had to give me a two minute interview at the end of 90 days. And they were only qualified to give me that two minute uh, interview if they had, if they, uh, if they attended uh, 90 days. So 35 attended 90 days, 33, this is now seven years later, have not relapsed in their addiction in any way, that shape, or form. That is wonderful. Well, I hold the world record. Wow. Because then they call me Dr. Wow. Like Be Dr. Wow. They call me Dr. Wow. Okay, it's wow. not Dr. Wagner now, it's Dr. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So I love it, yes. <laughs> and so what I didn't see after, uh, you know, and I had a clinic in Irvine and I had a clinic in, um, in Beverly Hills, and I mean, most in those early days, it was definitely nonprofit because this was so advanced work that it was hard to convince people to uh, to try light and light therapy. So five years ago, I added light therapy and I added uh, essential oils. So it's a multifactorial Hertz frequency energy program, okay. which causes people to not. So relapse. it's with the light. Light, light, essential sound, sound. Lo, light, sound, amino acids, and essential oils. So you all. have, so they have, you have to do an evaluation on, on the person yes, first. Yes, I do. Then you, yes, and then I, do my <laughs> then I do my man. <laughs> then she does her wow as Doctor Wow I, system. Then I do my wow, <laughs> and and we also change DNA codes, and we also do cellular regeneration of the brain. So I'm understanding. I'm the only person in Toronto who can reverse concussion because. What I didn't see mm -hmm. when I came home to Toronto, and this changed my life, right. 
What I didn't see. So you came back from L.A. to Toronto. Yes. Okay. What I didn't see was the number of children who are on pharmaceutical drugs who, by the time they're 12 years old, are, are and this, this, my first interview with my first patient changed my life because basically she said to me, I said, I said, how can I help you? She said, can you help me? Can you really help me? And I said, I'd love to help you. How can I help you? She said, I would like you to help me die. How can you help me to, to Oh die? my gosh. And this is, you see, today we cannot at Ooh. so it so if children are on ADD, ADHD drugs, from the time they're six years mm -hmm. old or the time they're eight years old, this particular child was on Prozac from eight years old to twelve years old. By the time she was twelve years old. She tried to commit suicide three times. And parents had been oh, to yeah. see 25 other doctors. But people hear about me. And so, and because I do absolutely no pharma. And we peel back the emotional layers. We peel back. So is your office here in Toronto? Yes, and I'm just looking for a new location. Okay. So we're, but we're offices. Well, you can look, but you have, you're online. People yes. can find you. Yes, and they and can all, find and, me by dr.angelica at grace centerhealing.com grace center healing grace center healing.com well we gotta come back because there's so much there's so much more to dr wow <laughs> i really you know adore it's just adore wow you know i'm just so you see what was what was my question was okay fine if we have an opioid crisis we have an opioid crisis mm -hmm. but what can we do that is sustainable well-being mm -hmm. for that brain's for that person's transformation right. so they never relapse that was kept being my driving force how can we have these people whether by by dirty doctor whether by pain management mm -hmm. whether by can't sleep whether mm -hmm. by uh by uh accident what can we do to change this person's life Mm. so that they have sustainable well-being. And that's the question that you're answering for the people. Exactly. And this is something that you're doing. This is what I've been doing. And, and dedicated, you're going to be doing it for a long time. Dedicated Because my you've life. been through a lot. Yes, I've been through a lot personally. Yeah. 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 So this is absolutely my passion. What I didn't see coming was that 59% of global children mm -hmm. are already on ADD, ADHD medicine. And you're going to help bring those kids out. And those kids are our genius kids. Wow. Those kids are our sensitive kids. So what we're doing is we're losing the genius of our youth and we're losing the wisdom of our elders to, these, to this drug use. And light therapy and sound therapy works in every case. Well, you're going to have to come back because she could go on. You know, today my guests are just been, whoa, <laughs> she's Dr. Wow. And they have just been phenomenal, so you know, nice. and people can find you. We'll have that all information. You can, everybody can see who you are, what you do, because I know that a lot of people are going to reach out to you. I can't wait. <laughs> the more, and if there's, and if there are serious addictions, uh, serious meth, cocaine, heroin, alcohol addictions, this is something and reversing childhood uh, concussion and childhood suicide. These are areas of my expertise. And those are tough areas. Which we do with no drugs. That's something. And a lot of people are going to be, you know, you're going to come back. I hope you're coming back. I'll I hope you're come coming back. Anytime you want. <laughs> anytime you want, D-Boss. You, D-Boss. I'm the boss. You know, the, the people here are giving today, today our show, we've been doing some very educational and a lot of people, things that I've never even heard about. And today, Dr. Wagner, Angelica went and all Dr. Wow, and a lot of people here brought some stuff here today that we had Mr. Fresh, of course, also. But, you know, I do want to thank all our viewers here today for watching. You're going to continue to see some of these phenomenal people that just came on the show today. And also, um, you can follow me at um, on Instagram at dboss underscore one, sweet the boss. You can go to my network, um, dbossnetwork. Dboss networks.com 
and um, also I am um, also my what I'm wearing today was provided by 20s uh, clothing so you know that's one of the sponsors for the show here but anyways I do want to thank you for coming Dr. Wagner today <laughs> and I do want to thank everybody for tuning in and tuning into real life matters so bye for now bye for now